Hello everyone, it's Talisa at DIY Living by Talisa Lindsay. Hope you're having a great evening. I had promised I was gonna try my best to jump on this evening to show you this DIY. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And plus I really want to be able to wear it this weekend on vacation because I love the feel of this shirt. And if you're wanting any information as you jump on about any of the products I'm using tonight, please to make sure to ask and I will make sure to um, give you that list of things. The one thing I know for sure that you'll need as far as the item is gonna be the stencil. This one is Magnolia. It's fairly large and I got this particular print for several reasons or style. I'm gonna be using it in Chrislyn's room. Um, we're gonna to try to see what it's gonna look like there, brunch brighter. We're gonna to try to see what it's gonna look like maybe in her room since she's going with that boho look. She really loves the medallion look, the medallion, if I'm saying it correctly. And so it's fairly big, it's large. It would look great, especially if you're gonna be stenciling, I would say even a carpet, curtains, a pillow would be awesome, a shirt we're gonna to do tonight, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna like boho it and chic it up. Hello, Joyce, everyone that's jumping on, say hello. If you would also be kind enough to go sprinkle the love, I would appreciate that. And then that way, this week, I don't have my beads in front of me, but the higher that we get, my husband is up a little later tonight than in normal. Um, he will be able to keep the count up for me and we will get those little beads um, in the pot because I haven't been able to do it the last few times. I've honestly just been busy doing it. Hi, Marla. So I'm gonna pull you down to the project and so far let you know what we have going on here. Hello, Dylan. I would say grab yourself um, something as far as the paper towels or another rag that you can be wiping up. You would want to use one of their squeegees if you don't have it, use an old credit card, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and then I'm gonna choose and let you guys, based on the colors, because you're gonna see the shirt, what color we're actually going to do the stencil, which I'm excited about. Um, you ordered one from Wish. Well, this one I did because I really like the style and I also I got this one because I can use it probably at least 25 times. So I felt like I was really getting my money's worth out of it. So that's part of the reason. All right, so let's scoot down so you can see the project. All right, so what I've done so far is I've taken a piece of paper, as you can see, and I've put it on the very bottom of my cabinet just to protect it in case. Um, this t-shirt is so soft. I mean, like really soft. Um, it is a Walmart brand and it's called Time and True is what I got. But as you can see, it has like this ombre effect to it. It's got like this blue, white, and then this like baby blue at the bottom. But it's really, I'm not kidding. When I say soft, this is really soft. Um, I'm gonna probably pull up my little chair and sit down so you can see my face a little bit more. Little. No. Here. Well, I need a big chair for a big hiney. So, <laughs> so anyhow, thanks for going and sprinkling. And then I also will be using this paper bag and I'm gonna cut it up so that I can stuff it on the inside, but laying it as flat as possible, just so that it has something in between the layers and it doesn't bleed through. If you have access to one of those shirt dividers, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, hello, Angel, glad to see you, my love. Hello, Talisa, how are you? And Mary. Another Talisa. Another Talisa, it's Talisa Perry. It's Talisa Perry, our normal, lovely Talisa. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this down the center. This is one of my paper bags. I always ask for one extra paper bag when I'm at the grocery store for a lot of reasons. We like to use it for starter if we're gonna do our barbecue, because we don't buy the newspaper anymore. We read it online. <laughs> or when I'm doing projects like this, um, and just for other reasons. So I always ask for one paper bag when it comes to my groceries, and then I save it and put it back. So, you hear Willow. Jinxie we have in the far back room, he is very sleepy, and when he gets sleepy, he does like this growling kind of noise. I don't know if you've ever heard it, 
but it's kind of like it settles him down in the sleep, kind of like what a baby does whenever they whimper a little bit until they go to sleep and he goes, it sounds like a horn. <laughs> so we kind of put him in the back a little bit because you would really hear him. Okay, so I just ripped the corners here. I've done this before and it works great. Folding it in half, like so. Okay, and I'm flattening it out, right? So you can see how easy it is to use this. And then what you're gonna do is just go in between the layer of the shirt and you can go back and straighten the shirt out once you get on the inside of this. Now my shirt size is a large because, well, a lot of reasons. I have put on menopausal weight, but my breast size needs a large because I am a 38 double D. And so for that purposes, I have to have, um, you know, a stretchy shirt. So I would say get whatever, I would say go with cotton, but make sure that you go with a size that's gonna stretch when it comes to um, using the stencils. And also use acrylic paint. Now, I know that they suggest with Magnolia that you use their products when it comes to their paints, like the permanent ink. I don't have a problem with that. But, let's see what's going on. I don't have a problem with using the permanent ink. It's just, it's not really going to be the color I want. I've done this kind of um, projects before, and so it's easier for me to use acrylic because um, it will wash and wear really well, especially if you set it. I'm just flattening the shirt out, okay? So I'm just gonna go through, get the wrinkles out as much as possible and um, kind of put it where I want it. So whenever I lay the stencil down, I know exactly how I want. So that's what's probably gonna be the most time consuming is just putting the placement of the shirt. And then that way you kind of know where you want to lay your stencil. I prefer getting stencils when it comes to doing your clothing, ones that have the sticky sides like Magnolia's does. Um, that way it doesn't lift up and bleed through. Hi Evelyn, how are you? Thank you Angel for sprinkling. So we're gonna take the product out, and while we're doing that, I want you guys to help me choose on what color we're gonna go with this. The great thing about this color of shirt, and especially having this ombre effect, is you can wear this with jean shorts or jeans after the summer's over. You can wear this with white shorts, navy blue shorts, red shorts. You know, it's, it's kinda of like the sky's the limit. Even tan shorts or khaki shorts, would look really good with it too. So, do you think that I should do the medallion color in a bright yellow? That's really bright. In a pure gold metallic. These are all acrylic, okay? But it's a gold. Or should we go with an antique gold? Okay, it's a little bit different of a gold. Or, it's Chris Lynn, she just got out of the shower. Or should we just go with a regular white? So I want you guys to let me know and just start feeding, you know, going through in the flood as I get this out and place it on here. And I'm gonna try to see if I can answer the questions. Um, I've seen that with about the magazine. The only thing is the magazine is not large enough for the area that I'm going to be doing. If it was a smaller shirt, hi Jen Glenn, I would say that would be perfect for this project. But the size and the ratio of the shirt would need something a little bit bigger than a magazine. Chrislyn's grabbing GC. All right, I'm seeing a lot of antique gold. I'm, it looks like you guys are saying gold and white so far. Chrislyn, can you look in your comments and tell me which evening, or which evening, good evening, Drew. 
um, which one is going to be the most voted? Is it gonna be white or gold? Okay, when you grab your stencil off, this is a large stencil. This is the tricky part when it comes to large stencils because you do not want them to grab the, um, it's up on itself when you're taking it off. So just be very careful that it does not um, cling to each other or you'll possibly mess up the stencil. So being this large, I'm just gonna lay it over the top of my arm, like so, and then kind of work my way in the middle, okay? And gently pulling it off, because it is a large stencil. Again, this would be perfect if you're going to be doing a pillow, a rug, a wall, and I may need to pick it up and move it as I go, because I want it a little bit up closer to my collar. What are you seeing so far, Chrislyn? Gold or white? And I'm going to, it may take a few moments for you to really place where you want it at. You see a lot of gold? I think a gold would work too. I think the gold would be gorgeous to be honest with you and I think it would be neutral. But what I'm trying to do is find the center of my collar and place the center of this medallion right under it. And I did, right there. So it's gonna take a few moments, but here's the center. And the way I figured the center was right up at the very top, and you can't see where my finger is. And I'm, let me move this down for just a second. But in the middle up here is where my tag is. So if you see if the top of my finger is, there's a tag. So that indicates to me that's where the middle of the shirt is. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Good evening, antique gold is gonna be it. Willow's talking a lot right now. She just got fed and she, she's excited. She's excited. She likes to talk at the end of the evening and just let you know that she's there. And Okay, now what you wanna do, start at the very top, working your way down, is take your hands and I'm gonna go across this way first to make sure there's no wrinkles. And I'm gonna do it again with my hand lightly, no wrinkles, but don't stretch it. That's very important. You do not want to stretch this screen, okay? And then gently, again, just working your way down because you wanna make sure it's gonna get onto the t-shirt. Then I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna work my way the opposite way coming down. Just make sure not to stretch the stencil, okay? I think this is gonna look really lovely when we're done. All right, I'm gonna keep my paper towels nearby a special part of spray, prayer request, sure. I absolutely, Sue, will be praying and hoping for the best in that test. I know a lot of us are facing that, so we'll definitely be keeping you in prayer. And please update me and let me know how, how it goes. So keep your paper towel nearby. A lot of you said antique gold is what I saw, which is this one here. So you wanna take a generous amount And this one's brand new. I haven't even opened it up yet to use it. So let me take the top off. Before I do that, let me shake it up because I want to make sure that we get even coverage. You guys are awesome for get, continuing to uh, sprinkle. I really appreciate that. Um, Denise, to answer your question on the stencil, there's a link above my live. You can click on it and it will take you there. You can also search around and see what other stencils are there. But this medallion is on there, okay? So 
I'm just going to lightly start at the top and I'm just gonna pour, but I'm gonna pour a little bit at a time. Now, when it comes to this acrylic paint, because it is a liquid paint and it's not like having the chalk paint, you can work in sections and not worry about it drying as much, okay? That's what's gonna be so forgiving about this. But what I wanna make sure that I do above anything else when I start doing this is not get too close to the edge where it's gonna bleed off of the top of the stencil. That's important. And you also wanna make sure that you push it through the screen like I'm doing, but again, just work in sections. You don't have to worry about this one drying as fast and as quick, okay? And you see how I'm working in the sections, right? This antique gold is gonna be really pretty. But let's start just in small sections because it's liquid, okay? Because we wanna get those clean edges. I really, really think you are gonna love this as much as I am. And when I'm done with this, because I plan on wearing it this weekend, is I want to give it 24 hours at least for drying. And then after drying, I wanna take a soft cloth and I wanna go on my cotton setting and I want to set with the heat before we wash it. The first few times, you want to make sure you get it on gentle cycle. And then I would make sure for the first two times, few times at least, that you wind up washing it separate from your other clothing, just in case, until you know for sure that um, any of the residue is not going to bleed on to your other clothing. But like I said, I've done this before. You just gotta work in sections. Hi, Sandra, how are you? Um, but you better wash your stencil, yes, when you take it off, for sure. I was told that acrylic messes them up if not washed off. Um, yes, the acrylic, If you, and the thing is about the way I've done it, the acrylic can mess it up if you do not wash it off right after. Okay, if it dries in the screen, just like any of the others, it will mess it up. But if you take good care of it and you wash it, just put it in the sink because my sink's right behind me, or in front of me, should I say. When I'm done, then I should be good to go. I'm just trying to be really cautious about my edges. Okay. We're a little bit halfway there. It almost looks like a yellow to you probably, but it's not, almost like a mustard color, but it's not. I can see the gold and the shimmer and the way it hits the light with me. Kristen, do you see any questions that you can ask C right now for me? Can you do that for me real quick while I continue to work with this? I just wanna make sure I don't mess up what I'm doing and get it all over my edges. I would be upset with myself working so hard after loving this shirt. What do you see? So are you sealing the magnolia, or selling the magnolia Yes, I am selling the Magnolia stencils. Like I said, if you go to the link at the very top of this live, just to make it easy for you, um, when we're um, done with the live, you can just go right up there and it'll take you right to where the stencils are. In the future, I have some farmhouse DIYs that I wanna show you to do, not only for Christmas, but other ideas that I have. And then of course, this right here, 
the, is it called Mandela? Is that the correct? Mandela. Mandela. It's Man. Mandela. Mandela. Um, we're going to very likely wind up using this in a f several projects in Chris Lynn's room. I know for yeah. sure. So, um, where did you get the shirt from and when did you buy it? I got the shirt from Walmart and I bought it yesterday. That's when I got it. Or was it? How yeah. How was the stencil? This particular stencil, I honestly cannot remember offhand. Um, they run in different prices depending on the size that you're going for. So I want to say they can run anywhere between $9 up to $25 depending on the size you're going for. Are they in your store? They are in my storefront with Magnolia, which is DIY Living Magnolia. I believe it's Magnolia Shop. Um, dot com, if I'm saying that correctly. But either way, go to the link up top and it'll take you right to it. Okay, I'm getting to the very edge here. Where are you going on vacation? Vacation, we are going to a resort that's about an hour and probably about 20 minutes from us where we're at now. Um, it's got a beach theme, like it's got a whole beach set up there. So the kids can go and play. And then, um, my husband's got something else planned while we're there, but he didn't really want to tell me cause it's my birthday and he's trying to make the best of it since we've got all this COVID going on, um, to surprise me a little bit. Cause we didn't get to do a whole lot for our anniversary, um, being that, you know, it's the COVID, just like everybody else. So, some of it's going to be a surprise, which I'm happy with. Normally, he's a romantic kind of guy, so um, I'm sure he'll come up with something in his sleep. Is Florida not shut down again? Florida may be on its way to shut down. We're going to have to wait out and see what's going to happen. I know they have postponed when we're going to be starting back to school. Um, but my kids are homeschooled, so I really don't have to worry about that part. Can you use chalk paint on fabric? I have not used chalk paint on fabric. That's something I'll have to test out and tell you. Um, do they give any price discounts for your first order? Um, no, not that I'm aware of, but they will give you price discounts if you decide to become a creator which you get a whole real big kit and you get the um, apron that comes with it as well. And then in the future, if you're wanting to order, you get um, incentives for free products um, and then you get also get discounts as well. So if you want more information on that, let me know and I'll be happy to um, message you or email you about it. Okay, so this is what we've got going on. I'm gonna lift it from the top, being that that's where I started off first. And I'm going at a dot, well, kind of like at an angle, but I'm gonna kind of work my way, going, starting in the middle so that I can kind of wrap it around my arm again in the same fashion that I laid it down. Oh my word, I'm already loving the look. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> all the time I get that. Even when I don't have my makeup on, like today. <gasps> oh my word. I can't tell you how excited ooh, I am. Ooh, I gotta see this. Oh my word, this is so pretty, Crystal. Look. <gasps> do you see it? What do you think? Ooh. I think I'm doing that on my shirt. <laughs> We've got a keeper, ladies. Hey, hey, it was my idea. Just saying, taking credit for this. Yeah, we got a keeper. As soon as you, um, Chrislyn, grab this, grab that white piece of paper on the floor. And we're going to have to put this on there to transport it. Well, 
and take it right over to the sink. Actually, go get me a, a pan of water. That'll help me the best, and we'll stick it right in there. She's loving this, ladies. I am not joking you. Just get a pan right down there. Yes, a, one of the big pans, the long pans. Right there, put some water in it. Just be careful when you're pulling it that you don't stretch it. Of water? Yes, just line the water of it, just a little bit, not much. And also be careful that it does not catch the sticky part on each other. Okay, perfect, exactly what I need. Set it right there for me. I'm gonna hold it up for you in just a moment. Just let me work it in sections, okay? She's so excited. It's like Christmas for her over here. If you could hear her, she's going. <gasps> it is so cute. And I didn't mess up and go off the edges at all. Okay, so I was real careful. That is so perfect. I was so careful. But. What? You can't see it as much up here. That's okay. It would have been cuter if this was an all white shirt and you put it and you could really see it. Well, we, what I like about it, okay, let me show you. I wanna make sure I don't get my paint, any paint on my hands and transfer it to the top of the shirt. So let me make sure I've got everything wiped off my fingers so we don't make a big boo-boo after loving this. What day is your birthday? I think it's Monday, right? Yes, July 20th is my birthday. Monday. 50. Okay. Can you see it? Oh, I can see it yeah. really good. All right. You, you can see a little bit of how the gold is going through. But you can see it better down here where the ombre effect is. But I personally love the look of it. It's exactly what I want. I'm gonna leave this. I would take it out and really show you how it's gonna look, but I'll take a picture of it tomorrow once I set it. But I wanna keep that in there for the divider simply because I wanna make sure that the paint does not bleed through. But you can see it took up every little detail right up here and down here at the bottom of the shirt. I'm coming in a little bit. See how gorgeous that is? Now, if I would have done it in white, I probably wouldn't have seen it as well down in this area. I probably just would have saw it here. But in the future, I think what I might like to do and try to do is if I can find some more shirts like this, but in different colors, because I really love the feel of it. It's like really, really soft and light, um, is I might do like an ombre effect on the Mandela itself. In other words, um, like do the opposite. If the top of it was pink and it was white down here, I might shade it where it would be white here and then fade down into a pink here. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So I am tickled, tickled pink <laughs> or blue <laughs> with the results. I think it looks awesome. So you love it? Me too. I think it's a great job. So we're gonna use this same pattern. And just so you can see, but I'm gonna go put it in some more water, is my pan, it's already lifting some of it out, but I have it right here, and I'm submerging it in water. And I can see already the gold is lifting out of the screen. Okay, so you just wanna make sure you get it submerged in water as soon as possible. Navy might be pretty, I agree. But the shorts I'm gonna wear with this is a navy, it is a navy blue. So I think it'll look really, really pretty with it. And I was planning on also wearing, a follower sent these to me this week, matter of fact, yesterday, as my birthday present. She sent me this gorgeous gold necklace that has these little birds on it, charms, because you know we love Jinxie and all of them. Um, I think that would look really, really pretty along with these little earrings that are also kind of in a gold and silver. So I'm pretty set I could take it on vacation and it'll be comfortable. Marla loves it. Me too, I think it's an awesome project. Um, love it with screen printing. They run the shirt under a uh, 
let's see, a belt dryer to set it. I see what you're saying, like a blow dryer. Well, I'm gonna let this set at room temperature overnight. I've, like I said, I've done this several times before with other projects, um, but not quite with a screen printing stencil. But I think I like it a lot better because I don't have to worry about it bleeding through. And I used an old credit card is what I did. And I think it worked out perfect, okay? So again, if you like this product, if you are interested in it, just scoot up to the very top. You can um, click right up there. It'll take you right to it. And you can get this one and you can check out the rest of them. And then if you need any information on, um, any, there's products that they have over there for paint. So if you're wanting permanent ink, they have it. Just make sure you follow the directions on it because it does dry quickly. But the acrylic paint that I used, you can wind up getting from Hobby Lobby, any art supply stores. I'm sure you'll be able to also get it from um, Amazon. But the particular color I used, uh, if you want it tomorrow, I'll get you a link on it, exactly what color and everything it was because it, it is a different, it's like an antique gold and they have different colors of it. So I can give you exactly the one I used. You love it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So we have some more DIYs coming in the future with these. I'm so excited to share it with you. Hope you enjoyed tonight. I'm so grateful and thankful that you stayed with me. Um, and please make sure that you go sprinkle and spread the love if you would. Um, that helps me tremendously. And how do you, um, let's see, how do you heat set it? Like I said, what you're gonna do is wait 24 hours for this set to dry. Once it's done in 24 hours, you set and dry, get a soft cloth, make sure that you still have your divider in between your materials because it did, I'm looking at it, it did bleed through. Leave it there. Actually, I would say don't leave it there. I would say take the divider out Put a clean sheet of a divider in there, even possibly another towel, and then take another soft cloth um, terry towel, put over the top of this, put it on a cotton setting, and then I would not rub back and forth, okay, because that could possibly lift it, but you do want to set the iron on it, like 15 and 10 seconds in each little spot, until you've hit each spot and heat set it that way. And then um, just let it completely cool and dry. And then if you wanna launder it, do it on a delicate cycle. Make sure you hand dry it, you know, air dry it first. And then after a couple of washes, you should be able to throw it on a low tumble dry into the dryer. So that's what I suggest that you do. The shirt came from Walmart, Brenda, and I got it yesterday. Um, Drew says, love all that you do. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, and God bless you. Thank you, Drew. I love you guys so much. And please, please, please be gracious with me. We're still working on all the stuff that's going on with my website. I'm still trying to run the business. Um, and the sun, the little kits, did you guys see it? Let me show you quickly. The kits, they are on the website right now. So go grab them as fast as you can. We have sold out of the sunflowers, but I'm going to try my best to come back with another sunflower style. But this is gone. You can't get this. This one's gone. Um, but if you are looking for the lemon one, it's so cute. It's so pretty. Um, you'll get everything here except for paint. If you want the paint, that will be an additional charge on because I have to put those in containers for you. But you will get everything but the paint for your project and you can go over to the website to order that, she got it up for me. And then we also have the watermelon and it says sweet and it also says sweet on this one. So again, everything comes in it but the paint. If you want the paint, I can provide it. It's just an um, upcharge for that, okay? You love them, they're cute. Thank you. I hope that we will have a great time as well. I'm sure we will. We'll take pictures and you'll probably still see me a little bit here and there, but 
it's family time, but I still have to make sure I run my business as well. So you're welcome, Margaret, for answering your question. I appreciate you. All right, ladies. I, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being here with my project and for sprinkling the love. I hope that you love this as much as I do. And before I forget, if you do any of these projects whatsoever, please go over and share them in my Crafting DIYs and More page. Um, it's connected. It's uh, a public place that we can just share our inspirations from. Um, we have somewhere like 30,000 followers over there in that um, group. I want to say maybe it's even more than that. But I love seeing the inspirations. The only thing I ask that you cannot do, and this is just out of respect, I wouldn't do it to you. Please do not post, um, put your uh, business affiliate of any kind on your pictures or I will not post it. And do not um, solicit anybody for selling, obviously. And then um, do not upload any videos that has anything to do with um, promoting your, your business as well. That's just out of respect. And you know what I mean by that. So I'll just leave it just like that. But I would love for you guys to put your um, DIYs over there. Because you guys inspire me. And I love it. So, And we want to inspire each other, right? Have a good evening. See you very soon on our next DIY. Good night.